हेलो एवरीवन सो दे वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द कम्युनिटी अबाउट गूगल शीट्स एंड जीरा सो दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम समीर समीर इज अबाउट हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट जीरा इश्यूज फ्रॉम गूगल शीट एंड आई थिंक दिस इज समथिंग डेट मेनी पीपल वॉन्ट टू डू एंड आई हैव डन दिस इन द पास्ट एंड आई थॉट आई प्रॉब्ली टॉक अबाउट इट आई really want to and i hope if i get more time i think uh, i need like 48 hours in a day instead of 24 hours because i really want to do this i really want to show you i really want to uh, actually give you a working code i might have a code that can actually do this because uh, this is something that can be done uh, very easily using google app script so there are multiple possibilities and i'll i i i'll talk about all the possibilities which i also mentioned here on my uh on my post so basically if you want to if you want to do something from google app script to jira you have to use a uh, rest api and of course uh, uh we are talking about jira cloud so yes we have to use a rest api so this is this is number 1 to talk to jira now if you want to learn how to do it you can take a look at uh, this link where or just type uh, jira cloud rest api on google and you will find this particular uh, page with uh, all the endpoints and uh, wonderful information about uh, how to create uh, issue in jira using uh, the endpoint and if you want to do it uh, for your practice then you can go to my website ravisagar.in and find couple of post talking about how to do this so i'll probably show you so just using rest api you can actually uh, create an issue now the important thing here is how do we where do we write the script and how do we call it so let me just open this particular uh, course of mine i'm doing a self promotion so if you type in here create issue so just take a look at this script here create issue using shell script um or basically you know uh i mean it is all about a curl command and knowing the right end point now the second thing is you have to write a script somewhere and if you're doing it from google sheet you have to write google app script and doing it is actually again now uh, very simple in case you don't mind writing code yourself and uh, if you want to if you want to learn how to do it just take a look at this page this documentation this portal developers.google.com/apps/script apps hyphen script and uh, you can click on google sheets and you will find plenty of examples i have done a lot of work in my life on google sheets and also on excel vba macro to do these wonderful fancy not really fancy but yeah i mean in a way they they are actually uh really cool ways to interact with not just jira but any other tool using uh, rest api and if you want to maybe search online uh you will find plenty of examples i mean uh, I, i don't really mind uh, spending some time if i have time of course to give you a working example and uh, these days i'm a bit short of time so i'll probably let you do this research yourself so if you take a look at uh, you know these examples you know when you, when you talk about rest api you have basically two things to do number one you have to authenticate number two you have to prepare a body of json that you have to pass and uh, if you want to learn these things uh, i highly recommend you to to take a look at uh, my mastering jira rest api free course i have i think plenty of examples where i covered different things like if you want to create an issue what kind of uh, um body you need to pass what is the end point and how to how to authenticate so i've covered these things uh, multiple times different examples and uh, if you want to learn google app script i highly recommend you to you know take a look at these links where you can find a working example or you can uh, also i mean people have written articles great articles about it so this particular article that i found online it seems like it is uh, doing 
uh, what you want to do. So basically, this user is, I mean, the not, not user, but this guy is uh, the data plumber.net is using Google Forms. So when you have, when you fill up a Google Form, things will go to, data will go to a Google Sheet. From Google Sheet, you can send it to, of course, Jira. So you have to make a REST call and uh, take a look at the code. It is straightforward code. And you have to basically make sure you are using the right JSON or the payload is correct. And uh, once uh, you do all these things, you can actually all do, uh, also do these things on a regular basis. So imagine that you have, let us say, a Google Sheet and you have a timestamp. So maybe you can uh, run the script regularly. So I, I know because I did this recently for a friend of mine where you can actually write a script and you can schedule it to run regularly. Maybe you want to run the script every day and whenever the script runs based on, let us say, the timestamp, if you have any new issues or if there is any update, I mean, you can write logic in the script to either create an issue or maybe update an issue. So there are a lot of wonderful things that you can do. I mean, of course, in case you just want to create an issue, it is also, uh, of course, not complicated. Um, and of course, you know, you can also use auto blocks which I covered by the way, I have few videos on Autoblocks and Autoblocks is basically a platform for integrating with Atlassian tools from plenty of other tools like Google Sheets and that is why I mentioned Google uh, Sheets along with the Autoblocks and Jira of course. So take a look at Autoblocks in case you want to do something with it and uh, you can of course you know use it for free. There is a free plan as well. and. Uh, it is not difficult to use. You can also use, by the way, Zapier, which I covered in one of my video. So if you go to my my, my website, I'm of course you know trying to uh, come back to my website because I have these things, and that is why I have a website because I want to use it to search my old content, and I also want to show you how you can also do it. So if you go to my website, and if you go to ravisaga.in/search then uh, take a look at this video where I showed how you can create a Google task from Jira. So it is basically doing the reverse of what you want to do. But of course, if you can do it from Google task to Jira, I'm sure you can also do it from Jira to Google task or maybe Google Sheets, for example. So do take a look at Zapier. I, I'm, I know that they have some ready-made Zaps to do exactly this. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye